What I got here is some Ukrainian armor that you may see popping up on eBay if that's something you're kind of looking for. I didn't see any videos about this thing, so I figured I'd be one to give you guys a little heads up on what you'd be getting if you buy it. This is what they call Shark, is the model of this, and as far as I can tell, it's UK armor or Ukrainian armor. Hard to tell, I can't really get much information about the uh, manufacturer of that. Mostly because there's no tags, and it appears to be made in-house in Ukraine. Which makes sense, they've been pumping out a lot of body armor in the last, you know, year or so. For obvious reasons. Shipping took about one month for it to get from Ukraine all the way to the west coast here in the U.S. And when I bought it on eBay, it was... Typically running for 900 bucks. I sent them an offer for 850. They accepted it, so you can get it for around that price. the uh, The dealer was Global Underscore Military, and they have a pretty incredible feedback. And I could see why it's it's a good setup, and I would recommend getting it from them. So when you buy this thing, it comes in individual components. All right, it doesn't come assembled like this. You got to assemble it yourself. You know, the, uh, the cloth part comes in one package, the armor comes in two separate packages. So all together, you get three packages in the mail, and you have to put it together yourself. It's a pretty basic system. It's not fancy like you'd see in the U.S. for our troops using. There's no handles or anything to uh, rip it apart and have all the pieces come apart for quick disassembly. It does have a drag handle. It seems to be sewn pretty well, but that's not really something I'd want to put behind 200 pounds of dragging weight. It doesn't seem like it would really last. It looks more like just for picking the armor up, you know, not necessarily for dragging. And honestly, that's about as much of features you get. A similar component or a similar type armor system that you'd get here in the U.S. from like galls or bulletproof zone or async or something those typically run between 1200 and 1800 dollars depending on what you get and what kind of features you have like i said this has very little features and that's what helps keep the price down even if it's being bought from overseas so like i said it comes in pieces and you have to assemble it yourself and part of the way you do that is you have these uh tabs up top and that's how you separate the front and the back components I was a little worried about this coming apart, but it's actually pretty strong Velcro. And once it's been sitting together for a while and gets really stuck, it becomes pretty hard to come apart. So it's not just going to be falling apart on you when you're wearing it. Now, the cummerbund, it has these little handles on it, which I really like. It makes donning and doffing the whole thing easy. It also has these secondary cummerbund tabs on the sides. Now, besides the fact that you got molly all over it, they actually have pockets in there to where you put some of your ballistic panels. You can put some hard armor in there. It looks like it would take, you know, a six by four, maybe a six by six plate. Now, inside here, this is where you'd feed in the armor system. There's nothing to retain it at the top. It's just kind of sitting in there, but in the whole time I've had it, I haven't had anything, any issue with it sagging down or anything like that. Your armor pocket is in here, but there is no padding between the armor and this here mesh. So if you're running like a plate carrier setup and you don't want to have the 3A panels, you're going to want some sort of trauma pad in there because that plate is going to chafe a lot even though it's in its own separate pocket but then again i don't know why you would be wearing a full 3a vest like this if you wanted to ditch the soft armor the whole point of getting a vest like this is for maximum protection against you know pistol threats or frag or anything like that so taking that out to lighten it up seems a little foolish i would say just get a plate carrier if you want to go that route the tricky part when you're assembling this is with the yoke and the collar trying to feed in the armor through these little tiny openings up here is very tricky 
it takes a lot of patience because you have to basically get a full length of body armor all array around the collar here. Now you can remove the collar and the groin protection and the shoulders, and I would actually recommend removing the shoulders, which is pretty easy. You just pop part of the shoulder open, take this off, and then close the shoulder up again. I would recommend keeping the nut flap and the collar on. I know some people hate that, but especially if you're gonna be running steel or something, you're definitely gonna want these two. But if the collar gets in the way, you can always just kinda pop the tabs open and let it flop down so it's out of the way. That's never really bothered me. I know a lot of people don't like having collars or anything because it restricts them a bit too much. Again, this isn't, you know, your, your lightweight chest rig or your lightweight plate carrier. So getting rid of the 3A panels kind of defeats the purpose of what it's for. You know, this is a heavy system and it's to give you the maximum amount of protection. So I like having the, uh, the yoke and the nut flap. So that's what I'm gonna keep, but you know, if I get tired of it, I can always take it off. It's better to have it and not need it. Overall, the assembly of this thing went pretty well. It is a bit small. That's something I will say. This thing is definitely sized for the Europeans. It's not necessarily sized for us American boys. I'm typically a size medium. I'm not that big of a dude, but this thing ran small even though I got large. So if you're an American dude looking to buy some of this, I would get one size, maybe two size higher than you typically wear. One other thing I should mention, when I bought this, the armor tab is three days after the date of purchase. So I bought it on the first of the year this stuff was made the third, so you're getting brand new armor. It's not going to be like three or four years away from its expiration date. Now, obviously, it's got a ton of molly all over it. But it also has your Velcro for if you want to run some morale patches. I don't really like morale patches. I think they're kind of cringe, so I just got, you know, the basic, you know, U.S. Army... And then my old unit, so. You can have like, get this back in frame. It has this back part, so if you have like a name tape or something, you can put on there. This thing came in a bunch of different patterns. Um, the seller has a lot of different types of camouflage as well as solid colors. So, you know, you got your tan, your green, your black, your gray. You also got like multi-cam, ACU, ATAX, a bunch of different types of digital camo. So, you know, you even got the Ukrainian type of camo. Overall, I think it's a pretty fantastic piece for the price. It is a bit heavy, but that's kind of expected when you have a full armor system like this, as opposed to just a chest rig or a plate carrier. No frills, but it works well. I would recommend it 100%, especially if you're a baller on a budget. So that about does it.